Hey guys, it's Mr. V over here doing a book review today for A Fine Balance by Rohinton Mystery. Before I get into my book review, I want you to know that I try to do a spoiler-free book review. So if you see me looking down, I just have notes so I don't give any spoilers away. So let's get into the book review today for A Fine Balance. The main premise for this is this takes place in an unnamed city in India. The time is 1975 and the government has just declared a state of emergency that causes um, four strangers to meet a spirited widow, a young student who has to leave his town, uh, his nice town, and two tailors who have fled the cast of violence from their native village. They will all be thrust together, forced to share one cramped apartment with an uncertain future. So that is the main premise for the fine balance. Now, before I get into my review, I think that before reading this book, you guys should be over 18 because you deal with very adult situations and troubles. Uh, some of them are sexual. And I said, there's, there's just many situations that are very adult that I feel you should be over 18 to read this and also to fully grasp what's going on. And as I said, this book, it takes place in India. So you want to know Indian culture a bit in terms of like arranged marriages, how men and women feel about it, but also things like untouchables. So, you know, you want to be aware of those things before you get into the book, just so you appreciate it a little bit more, because this book is a fascinating book and, and it, it captures you immediately um, from the first, from the prologue on, you're just captured because you get, you get a feel of the town that they're in immediately. The town is never named, but you just get a feel for it because this author can explain things in just a few words to where you can basically the description of the people and the scenery you can just envision them immediately and you know it's, it's just it's amazing how he can do that and that's why it grasps you immediately especially given the situation they're in um, because it does take place in a developing country it takes place in india um, but you can see how tough life is in the developing countries and you can tell right from the beginning that this is going to be a rough book and it is. It's a very sad and it's a very rough book. You know, it's, very, it's a great book, but you can tell it, it has some tough situations in here. And you can see it's going to be a rough book and it has as many deep issues uh, in this book. There's so many. Some of them are very complex. Other are very simple, but you deal with a lot of deep issues. There's just, there's very few main characters. As I said, there's only four main characters. Um, and they're all at different stages in their life. Um, they're all different ages and then, uh, there's three men and then one woman. So you get to see how men and women are. So you see different struggles that they each go through in India. And you can see like one of the things like the women being in India, how tough the life is, um, for many regards, you can see this is very tough life. And it's, uh, as I said, it's in the description, it's a, she's a widow. So you can see how tough it is. And then you get these workers who are from a very poor village and they flee the village to uh, escape um, violence, but they're from a very poor village and they grew up as untouchables. And one of them is an uncle and the other is a nephew. So you can see there's different ages and you can just see their view on life and the struggles that they go through. So that is also uh, very, very interesting. And, and you can just see how tough it is, the untouchable life who are considered untouchables in India, how tough a life they have to go through and their life growing up and how tough it is for them to even survive, to even get food or any just basic things, what they have to do. And it, it's just, it just really is just amazing when the way he writes it. And the author, he weaves these stories perfectly. You know, all four of these people come together, but he weaves the stories perfectly. And throughout the book, he even gives like their backstories because as I said, right at the current situation, they're all at different stages in their life, but he shows their backstories uh, in the middle of the book and throughout the book, he weaves it in like what their backstories are and you get to see what it was like for them growing up and how they got to this situation. And you, he kind of goes between the current situation and their backstories. And as I said, like he just goes through the background of them and how they got to the point they're at right now. And he just weaves it perfectly. And it just makes it for such an amazing story in the way he weaves it perfectly. And like just following their life is, is very sad. It's dramatic, but it's also very entertaining. It is. He keeps your, he keeps your interest in it because it's a, it is definitely very grim and sad, but it's also so interesting seeing like 
how they got to where they are, what they're going to do, the situations they are currently facing, and all those things. Um, and you continue to wonder what will happen. Uh, while it is pretty simple situations, like just the workers trying to get work, but like you wonder, will they keep the work? What will happen? And I can't get in depth because there's so many situations that I just, I can't get in depth. But you just, throughout the whole book, you continue to wonder what will happen. And that's where it keeps your interest, which is great. Now, some of the things that I did not like about the book, there's only one thing, was that there are, there's a lot of very minor characters. The, um, you didn't, I never felt overwhelmed because the, the minor characters are very short-lived. And you get kind of used to this being very short-lived characters, but in the beginning, you know, you get like all these minor characters and then you get used to them just being all oh, very short-lived characters. Um, because there are only a few main characters. There's only four main characters, but there's just a few other minor characters and then there's a lot of very minor characters. So, you know, that was the only thing that there's, there were kind of a lot of at points. So just be aware of that. Now, as for his writing style, I thought that this was a very well written book um, because it flows very well to where you want to just keep reading it. You just want to continue to read because the pacing is amazing and it is just super smooth. I said he paid, uh, he weaves it all together well, but the pacing is also amazing. And that when you're reading the book, the time just passes so quickly when you're reading it. You don't even realize that sometimes you've been reading for two hours because of how smooth he does this. And while there are long chapters, there are sub chapters in between, but you just want to continue to read. Even if you get to the end of the chapter, you want to continue to read because again, he just writes it so well and that you can envision the scenery immediately. Um, it's a sad scenery but you can just immediately envision it. And I already said that he writes it very well because he explains things in very few words and you just instantly can just visualize it. So that's just amazing that he can do that. And that, you know, overall that this was a very grim and sad story. So you feel a lot of emotion when reading this book. You, you go through a lot of emotion because of how grim and sad this story is. But you see like the struggles that the characters go through and like the toughness that they have to go through and how they keep going through it and it's i already have stated the they're all the characters are at different stages in their life so they're going through different struggles in their life and how they view things is very different based off their age so it's just again but it's just so amazingly written it's just so amazing that you just want to keep reading it and when you're reading it um it does make you sad and it makes you appreciate what you have when, when you see how tough their life is. It really makes you appreciate what you have. And, you know, the author just does a, just such a great job of just doing the whole story to where you feel such emotion when reading it. But let me give it my official rating right now. So I always rate my books on a scale of zero to 10 with a zero being an awful book. A five is an average and a 10 is phenomenal. If it gets anywhere near a 10, you should put that on your reading list because I'm a very tough critic and a five is average. So it's tough to even up one point with how tough I am. So for this book, A Fine Balance, I'm going to rate this book a 10, which is very, very hard to get in my rating system. But I'm rating this book a 10 because I really couldn't find weak points in the book. It was just so well done. He weaved the story so uh, perfectly. It just flowed so smoothly and you felt emotion throughout the book and you wanted to keep reading the book to where that's why I am giving it a 10, which is very, very rare in my rating system. So I definitely recommend that you guys go out, you guys get a fine balance and you guys read this book. But if you guys have any comments, any questions, please post it in the comment section below. Hope you guys click the subscribe button as I always upload multiple different types of book reviews. But thank you for watching my book review today. This is Mr. V. Go enjoy reading.